Hello, this is Gail, the Legacy Lady, and this is Legacy After Dark. If you are on the West Coast and you're looking outside and you're going, hey Gail, it's totally not after dark yet. It's after dark here in Western Pennsylvania, and I'm still gonna call it Legacy After Dark because it's my show. So today is a day where all the kids are gonna be awake and um, kind of like last week. I can't believe that was last week already, by the way. That's crazy town. So Today, there are birthdays everywhere. Everywhere I look, someone has a birthday, which is fabulous and wonderful. This includes my middle child. He turned 10 today, and it's very exciting. We had a snow day today, so everyone was at home, and the house looks like a tornado went through, and my daughters, um, who the, he's the 10 year olds in the middle, so I have daughters on either side, and together they wrapped presents and did like a little surprise birthday party for him, which was absolutely totally cute. And they had a blast, and it kept them busy. So all of those things are wonderful. So I thought it would be fun to chat about birthdays and how we celebrate how we celebrate birthdays with our families, with our friends, what our traditions are. And I just wanted to acknowledge that there's these awesome birthdays that are happening for people, whether you're hitting decades, if you're hitting in the middle, um, or the ones that are having the first birthdays. So I have a nephew and he just celebrated his first birthday and the pictures were gorgeous. So I love that we get to share those things even though we're far away. So what I would love to hear from you is how do you celebrate birthdays? Do you have specific traditions that you love or that you do regularly with your family? Do you go out to dinner at a favorite place? If you have kids, do you let your kids choose where you go? Is there a favorite dish? Maybe grandma makes the favorite meal. Those are the types of things that have happened in my family growing up and as an adult and things we do with our kids. Um, so yeah, that's what I wanna hear about in the chat. And then I'm gonna talk a little, really CG, you're celebrating 50, that's amazing. Congratulations, you made it, woohoo. <laughs> um, are you doing anything big for it? Like, are, are you acknowledging it with a really big celebration? Are you just saying, oh, yeah, I made it to 50, let's go. Come on, 51. Um, I would love to hear that, and I'd love to hear how your 40s were. Was it good? Did you have fun? Are you looking forward to the next decade and the last decade? You can go, psh, psh, psh. see ya. Um, so my middle child hit his first decade today, and my oldest, she turned 13 in January, so I have a teenager in the house. Hey, Jenny. Uh, we're talking about birthdays and favorite birthday traditions. Um, oh, the favorite meal idea. So for your 50th CT, what are you going to have? Is your favorite meal? What is your favorite meal? Um, so we, what was it talking about? Oh, decades and 13s. So I'm turning, how old am I gonna be? I have a leap year baby. I'm a leap year baby. So I have a leap year birthday. It's February 29th. It means I only get a birthday every four years. There's a lot of things that go along with that. I wrote a really cool article on it way back when. Like in 2016, I wrote an article. So um, I'm going to reblog that piece and um, you can read it over there. I won't bore you with all the details. Um, but it really impacted how I feel about birthdays and dates in general. I have no real attachment to a specific day. Like, at least I tell myself that. Um, so like when it comes to birthdays, it doesn't matter to me whether we celebrate on the actual day I was born, because spoiler alert, three times out of four, hi Gail, or I said hi Gail, I was gonna read your comment back to myself, Monica. Thank you, it's wonderful to see you, darling. So I only, sell, I only get the potential to celebrate my birthday one out of four times every four years on the actual day. So I basically had to be like, I don't, it doesn't matter what day we celebrate. So, um, like today is, today's important because it's, it's Aiden's birthday. It's very important and I get all of that, but I don't have the same, I don't have like an, oh my gosh, we have to do this tonight. 
Um, the other thing that happens in our household is generally everyone's sick around this time of year. So it's no fun trying to go out and celebrate and I'm, we're not, I don't like forcing things. So birthdays, birthdays are funny. Um, Jenny, let's see, my birthday is Monday. Oh, I'm in StreamYard, <laughs> I can show comments and it's so pretty. Okay, my birthday is Monday, I host an online birthday luncheon with VIP clients most years and my wife takes me out for a great Italian meal, I love it. Do you guys have a favorite restaurant that you guys go to? Um, and let's see, CT, I know we talked about your favorite meal idea. I'd love to hear what your favorite meal is and what you're thinking about having. Um, I am going, I'm doing a couple things. So um, the years I don't have a birthday, get this, this is what I do. All year long, I say, uh, what do I say? Um, oh, you know, I didn't get a birthday this year. Can we like do this thing? And it's in March. And then in June, hey, I didn't get a birthday this year. Can we do this thing? Or I wanna go do this thing. <laughs> And that's literally what I do all year. So I celebrate my birthday all year long. <laughs> and sometimes I decide that we're going to do it on St. Patrick's Day. So I just say, you know what? I don't get a birthday, so today's my birthday. And um, and life is good. So we're going to go back. Uh, Jenny says that she goes to a new restaurant each year. That's awesome. Um, I'm sure you are in no short supply over there. Um, oh my gosh, and Monica with the Valentine's Day birthdays, so weird, right? And then I have friends who have um, the Christmas birthdays. I always felt so bad for people who had Christmas birthdays because it's like, what do you really do? Like, I don't know what you actually do for a Christmas birthday. They just always seemed miserable. So if you have a Christmas birthday and you have traditions that make it exciting for you, I would love to hear about them in the comments and prove me wrong. That's just what I remember from elementary school. So of course it's like the kids' remembrance and the kids' like glasses of what things looked like. Um, yes, Monica, I am a leap year baby. So if you have not met one before, hi, I'm Gail. Nice to meet you. I'm a leap year baby. <laughs> That's what I do with people. Um, I actually have only met a handful of people who are other leap year babies. I think. I think I can count them on one hand. Um, if you hear my kids screaming, they're still awake because spoiler alert, it's, it's before seven o'clock in Western Pennsylvania. Um, so yeah, I've only met a handful and one I actually met of all places hiking down into the Grand Canyon. <laughs> and um, I think, I, I don't know if I was turning 14 um, and they were turning 40. Anyways, it was a neat moment. We like met, it was very weird. We like met at this point where like you had to, um, you could only walk one way through like one person at a time. You had to like wait and like the other person had to go. Anyways, it was funny. And that's a whole other live stream. So birthdays, writing about birthdays. So let's talk about writing about birthday memories. Um, in the, I actually did a whole, in 2016, I did a whole, uh, survey about how people celebrate birthdays and collected data to like to try and like make a, a quantitative picture and a little bit of a qualitative but a, mostly a quantitative picture of how we celebrate birthdays. And I think I'll probably re-release that um, maybe this week and see what kind of response we get. Um, and so there were like some cool questions. So I, w I went through and I read the questions through again and some of it had to do with um, if you um, if you have an attachment to days, like I talked about, um, where you like to celebrate, if there was something specific you did, like we talked about the meal thing a little bit, and then encouragement to write those answers out um, through this survey format. So from a writing perspective at home for today, thinking about how you celebrate birthdays, how you celebrate your parents' birthdays, because often I think we, um, there, you know, maybe there aren't, we don't do the same thing. So our parents do um, celebrations for us as children, and then we pass on and do celebrations for our children, but we don't always remember to go back and celebrate our generations above us for their birthdays. Or maybe that's just me and I'm a horrible daughter. <laughs> it could be that. So um, 
So from a writing perspective, think about all of the pieces that go into those birthdays, the emotions leading up to it, um, the actual day, if you are um, thinking about the actual day, and then the things that happen post-birthday. There there's kind of like this post-birthday, like not let down, but like you go up, you crest, you come down, and then it's like, oh, is that all we were doing? Dang it. Sometimes it's anticlimactic. Sometimes it's not like that. Um, I think it just depends on year to year. Like that when you have that big decade moment, like maybe you feel like you're going to sound different or look different or grow a unicorn horn. Who knows what we think will happen when we turn 30, 40, 60, right? Okay. So that's what I would um, be thinking about from a writing perspective. And then different types of birthday memories. So you're, um, right? So, okay. So I'm going to talk about Monica's comment really quick. Um, let's see. We celebrate all week over here. Yes. Yeah, so all week I have friends that celebrate all month. Like they have like the first, like they're, you know, the first day of the month and they like warn everyone the whole month before it's going to be my birthday month, guys. I love it. I think it's great. And so the years I don't have a birthday, I celebrate all year long, baby. I didn't get a birthday. I'm going to do something special. <laughs> um, so, you know, it's special every day. If we wake up every day, it's special every day, right? Okay, so we are worth celebrating every day of the year, 365 and 366 when we have that extra day for me. Okay, so back to, what was I talking about? Oh, types of birthday memories. So we have the happy birthday memories. Those are really easy to write about, really easy to talk about. And then we have um, probably some birthday memories that are sad, sad birthday memories. <laughs> Spoiler alert, Gail has sad birthday memories <laughs> because... I, my birthday is the 29th and my dad passed away on March 7th and my son was born February 20th, like after, way after, um, daddy died. But so my birthday is all is like right smack in the middle of all this grief. And it just, I really enjoy celebrating the rest of the year and I enjoy celebrating it. Like St. Patrick's day is like my reset um, I grew up in the Irish community in Phoenix, Arizona, and it's, um, my heritage is like a huge part of our lives. I sing songs to my kids. I, um, all the things I played guitar with my dad, we sang together. <gasps> Susie, I love you. Um, yes, birthday week. So, um, tell us your birthday traditions that you love doing in the comments, my dear, dear cousin. Um, so writing. So when we have our sad, possibly sad birthday memories, um, those are worth writing about too and writing down and all the different ways we've experienced our birthdays over the years. So I encourage you to have hard copies of your traditions and all the things that you've done for your kids um, when you're filling out those fun scrapbooks and all of the digital stuff we do. You can think of these as prompts to help fill those pieces in. So if you're looking at um, whether you're on Shutterfly or you're filling in, you know, a post thing on Tiny Beans. Tiny Beans is really cute. If you haven't checked them out, it's really awesome. I did not get paid to say that. Um, but it's a way to share things with family without posting them for the entire world to see, which is beautiful and wonderful. So... Yeah, so when you're thinking about what to write underneath those really cool birthday photos and the really cute ones where they're blowing out candles or the smash cakes or, you know, um, there's these little pieces. Mm -hmm. So the next time you have a birthday party or someone you love or for you, think about all the little things you do to make that moment special for the other person. And if you think you don't have traditions, I can guarantee you, you probably do. You just don't realize you're doing them. So. That's your homework. Next time you have a birthday celebration, try to identify what might be things that you do every year. And guess what? Those are your traditions. So that is birthdays. Someone you know around you probably has a birthday this week because there's a lot of us. <laughs> All right. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to put them in the comments. As always, there are a plethora of things that you can go find if you want to learn about how to write about cooking, how to write about other things. It's all on the website or in video format. However you would like to consume the content, it is there. So 
leave your ideas, comments, traditions in the comments, and I will see you next time on Legacy After Dark. And in the meantime, happy writing.